Okay, Sam Amick from The Athletic is saying, as the NBA's new power structure unfolds in free agency, LeBron James has a message for Kawhi Leonard. Come join him and Anthony Davis in Lakerland, and he'll take a step back in the kind of way that Scouts Honor said yesterday that will empower them all. <laughs> Thanks for the shout-out, Sam Amick. No, just kidding. Uh, but in any event, that's what I said yesterday. I said LeBron James was going to take a step back, and uh, he was bet Kawhi Leonard wouldn't be taking a backseat to anybody, nor would the narrative really fully be that he's just joining to be LeBron's sidekick because LeBron James is offering to become that sidekick. LeBron James getting in touch with his... What's that word? With his mortal side, with his mortality. And so uh, there you have it. Now the question is how big of a step back does LeBron James take? There was no talk of LeBron James taking a backseat to Anthony Davis that I heard. Anthony Davis may find himself being forcing his way onto a team where he becomes the third fiddle. The little bitch boy who gets told what to do by his agent, by his daddy. And in my opinion, guys, Anthony Davis may very well not be voted all-star starter. We will see. Maybe he will. You could argue three of the three of the four best players in the West are on the Lakers now, but uh, Anthony Davis just missed out on all-star starter last year. I think he lost out to Kevin Durant or somebody, and he flipped out and demanded a trade almost immediately. So him going to the Lakers was d in large part so that he would be all-star starter for the foreseeable future. Now, will he be an all-star starter if he's averaging 22 points? With Kawhi Leonard averaging 25 and LeBron James averaging 23, 24. We will see who's going to be the third leading scorer. It's not going to be Kawhi. Of course, Kawhi will try to skip as many games as he possibly can. And uh, LeBron James, though, it's interesting. What kind of defense and energy does he have? If LeBron James is trying to be the glue guy, well, at this stage in his career, that's not even the best role for him. So... And then defenders, if LeBron is standing at the three-point line and Kawhi's in isolation, getting a bucket, you can be sure that nobody's going to be too worried about LeBron James at the three-point line. And uh, we will see. With neither of these... No, Kawhi Leonard's a pretty good three-point shooter, but with neither Anthony Davis nor LeBron James being a great threat from the three-point line, uh, how will this work out? And will LeBron James be able to knock down all those open three-point shots? With all this pressure to be, win the championship and to be the best team in the NBA that everybody is anointing these guys with and putting them under. So we will see. But this is what I predicted. LeBron James says he'll take a back seat. Okay, he's smart enough to know that at this stage to win, he needs all the help he can get. But in my opinion, yeah, I mean, th they basically did this right. But if you if you could start all over, well, whatever, guys. We're just going to have to see because, you know, as LeBron gets older, if he's stepping into this sort of sidekick facilitator role right now, he's only going to get better at that in the future. The problem is going to be his defense declining, his energy declining, and his injury risk increasing as he gets older. But uh, I, think you, I think if they do get Kawhi, which I said they would yesterday, which they're about to do, uh, it's it's hard to argue they should have traded the f number four pick individually or just used it to draft DeAndre Hunter. Of course, that is an argument, right? Some people have compared DeAndre Hunter to a young Kawhi Leonard, uh, much younger, much less injury-prone injury issues. And then you could trade Lonzo Ball himself for a solid player. And then you could trade Brandon Ingram himself for a solid player or just keep him more wisely. And uh, Josh Hart let him contribute. They are going to be flailing to fill out this roster. And so, you know, once you made that move for Anthony Davis, I think that going for Kawhi Leonard makes sense. But I think I still think the big mistake was going all out for Anthony Davis in the first place. But getting Kawhi Leonard means that Anthony Davis much more likely to re-sign next year, 
with the Lakers, unless he starts crying like a baby because he doesn't make all-star starter. But with it, with Kevin Durant out for the year, the odds of Anthony Davis making all-star starter do indeed go up. So let me know what you guys think, but LeBron James taking a back seat. That's going to be the successful pitch. And in my mind, it's just a matter of hours here before we get a signature from Kawhi Leonard on a Laker contract. Let me know what you think. I'll see you soon. Peace.